Okay, so one of the parts from the story of Easter that is worth taking note of that you haven't thought of before was when the Lord Jesus Christ became alive again. He was in a stone-cold tomb. He was in the grave. He'd been dead for three days and three nights. And then he breathed again, not in some creepy way, but in the most wonderful way ever and possible. Just think about it. And then he took off the grave clothes and discarded them. No need for them anymore. If you're worried about dying, um, Jesus Christ is the only one who can discard the grave clothes and throw them away. Uh, one of the fantastic proofs of that, if you want more, um, is that there was a, a handkerchief, as it were, that piece of cloth that went over his head. <sighs> You're probably thinking of the Turin Shroud now. Stop. And uh, he took the handkerchief, this head covering off, and he folded it up and he placed it by itself just on the side. When Peter and John came running to the tomb, Peter um, gets there first and uh, I think it's Peter gets there first. Maybe it's John gets there first. He's outside. Yeah, John gets there first because he's a bit younger. Um, and he stops outside and Peter goes bursting into the tomb and is looking around as you perhaps would what's going on where is jesus where have they taken him he he's not been taken anywhere he got up himself remember what he said and then john comes in john observes and john sees and john sees the napkin this handkerchief that had been placed around his head just there on the side neatly fold up and in in Jewish custom that meant only one thing Jesus was coming back you see in Jewish custom and perhaps in our custom as well say you've got servants and you're in a fancy meal and you're the owner of everything for instance and you're having your meal if you discard your napkin the meal's over you know, you get up and you wander off. But if you place your napkin down on the side and you disappear off, no matter how long you've gone for, the servants know that the master of the feast is coming back. And it's exactly that way with Jesus. Jesus was coming back. So whenever you think of this day, Remember the folded handkerchief that Jesus took off, placed on the side, which meant, I'm coming back. And he is. Jesus Christ is coming back. <laughs> it's mighty good to be ready for that day. I hope you are. You can be. Just get somewhere quiet, private, and get, or do it now, and wait, and get right with your maker. You can. I did. Others have, not everyone, but I recommend that you do. How do I turn this off?